Hello, this is Michael. Welcome to my learning to program using the Godot game engine uh, series. In this video, we're going to look at the Godot engine project manager. So, when you install Godot, uh, and you can download it from their website, godotengine.org, and you just click the download link, and then pick the version for your system and you get a zip file and you just extract that into a folder and you'll just get a, a file like this and then you just double click it so it doesn't need to be installed like a regular application you just copy it to your computer and and run it alright so when you open up Godot the first thing you get uh, I opened two on accident. First thing you get is the project manager. So the project manager lists all of your current working projects and also has a couple features over here that we're going to look at one at a time. So uh, the important one is to be able to start a new project, uh, Im import, and then also edit a project. Uh, so if you already have a project, you can click it and hit edit and it'll open up the project. Uh, you can also uh, import a project so if you get a copy of a project from someone else uh, let's say I've got my working directory here so let's copy a project out like uh, this race game alright so we're gonna move that over to the dev folder so if somebody gave you a copy what you could do is drop it into your working project folder and then come over here and go import browse and then find your working folder so I just put it in dev and then Godot projects and there it is and then you pick the project file and say open and then import and edit and there it goes so, and now that project should stay on my project list. Uh, yeah, so I've got two. And this one right there is the one that I just imported. You can also remove them. So I can hit remove. And you'll notice it didn't delete it. Oops. It didn't delete it from here, uh, from my folder. It just removed it from being tracked in the Godot project manager and then finally we can create a new project so this is my working folder here and so we're gonna watch I'm gonna go ahead and remove this one so you can see this in action uh, I'm gonna create a new project and we can watch what happens as I do it so first I'm gonna hit browse I'm gonna find my working directory or my directory where I wanna put my Godot project so I'm gonna do dev Godot projects select current project or current folder and then I'm going to give it a name. So I'm going to say new uh, tutorial game. I'm going to hit create folder. And it, what it'll do is it'll create the folder right there and set that to my project path. I'm going to hit create and edit. And there's my game. And you'll notice that inside that folder it added these default files. And that's pretty much it for the Godot project manager you can also return to it from the engine itself by hitting project and then quit to project list and that will send you back to the project manager and that's it for today thanks one last quick note that I wanted to add was you can change the default directory when I create a new project this project path um, I think it usually defaults to your my documents and you can change it by doing this so if you go into any game uh, I'll just jump into this one and up here under editor editor settings and then file system directories right here the default project path and you can set that to whatever you need to so if you um, you know use C dev C colon dev Godot projects. Uh, I can save that, close, 
and return to my project list and now if I create a new project I'll have my project path set uh, already for me so that can save you some time if you're creating lots of projects and you won't have to go hunting for that every time one other thing is you can also star a project and by doing that it forces it up to the top so um, if you have a long-running game that you're working on and you want to be able to create some little prototypes, these will stay at the top so that you can get to them quickly and easy. Alright, thanks.